Italy! Game number two! Finals coming up, best of three! VGR took away the first game, now they're playing on the blue side. Let's see how they do. Let's see what goes on. High tech over on the red. Or indeed uh, purple, depending on your sightly position. We'll see. Sichuani getting banned out first by VGR. They still don't like that pick. And it looks like, um, no matter what, Still going to be inside stealth banned out completely by high tech, so we'll, we'll see what they go on from there. I would, I, you know, th there's been so. Oh, yeah, they're going to do Java again. I think they're going to do the same bans. So they're going to let that Varus and that Jana go through again, unless they manage to pick it up. That, come on. This combo has been destroying people all day in the bot lane. All I can hope for is that high tech have, uh, have the strategy of, um. <laughs> Doofle do flip Patrol. Um. All I, all I can hope for is that high tech picks someone with a little bit more range, so probably Caitlyn, just hopefully, I, they can't, they very obviously cannot do that Graves again. Graves is a decent ADC, but not against Avaris, you cannot do that, we'll see what they go for now. Chase again banned out, but this time by VGR, Malphite going down as well. Blitz still available, Thresh is here, Janna's there, Morgana's going down actually, they're getting rid of the Morgana! And there are a whole bunch of mids that you can definitely go through, um, you don't always have to go for the, the same mid, come on. Looking for. Draven's going to be popped out instantly by, uh, by Synchronized. And we saw how his Draven destroyed absolutely everything. If he gets that Janna, they're going to have their bot lane back. Ready and waiting. They need distance. They need poke. De oh yeah, it's going to be League of Draven pretty soon. Bite long. Considering the Oceanic server, considering the pin, considering how much damage he pulls off. It's going to be the League of Draven. We won't be able to help it. It's not our fault. But hey, Skux is thinking of picking up a Tristana, which is damn good now, if you come to think of it. You know, great range on Tristana. Good amount of burst, decent ADC damage. Does not scale as quickly, though, especially as Vayne or, uh, or Draven has been picked out. Um, but, but still, still damn good. But, but still, still. Oh, yeah. Still damn good. Cheers, Alan. Apparently the song is epic. I'm, I'm not sure which song. This song? The awesome League of Legends song? The music? Ori or Lux mid? Um... I'd call Ori. I would call Ori. She's been doing fantastically today, that Oriana. And there it is. They didn't ban out the NZ Stealth Lee Sin. They banned out the Udia, and they saw what they could do against him, trying to pick him out, but that didn't work. Jibbers has his hands on the Lee Sin. We haven't seen NZ Stealth on Lee Sin for a while, I think. He's, he's been too much in love with, um, with Udia and with other people, like Nautilus. Ah, uh -huh. oh, well, I haven't seen him like that for a while. It'll be interesting. And yeah, Cry is going to pick up on that genre again. Once again. And she was actually going for that Maokai. I haven't seen her play Maokai for a while. She is buddy. Giving me a little bit of, um, of variety. Loving it. Wow, Doom Flipper only played Lux. Alright, oh, Doom Flipper has sort of uh, been migrating. He's is, is, is a new League of Legends guy. Or Welcome to the fold. We used to have cookies and then all the children came and ate them. And uh, now there's just a plate left. Sorry. We used to have cookies. That's that's why people came to League of Legends. Come to think of it, now we have cookies. They're just in-game and inedible. Kind of sad. We we end up feeding all of our cookies to, uh, to Poros. God damn it, those Poros are cute. Anyway, up in the top lane, Snipdees is going to be picking up the Renekton again. He's not going to pick up the... Um, He's not going to be picking up that Battle Bunny Ribbon. And I'm I'm sure Carlo is going to be like, well, it's the same matchup, so let me just Ribbon again. <laughs> but we'll take a look. And Snowpuff is thinking of going back onto the Rise that he's been playing on for the entire day. Uh, Rise has definitely been a very a very worthwhile champion for him, but he hasn't had to deal with um, with too many difficult champions. I, mean, I, I think there was a Rise ball. I can't remember if it was Snowpuff. Um, but there was a rise before dealing with an Oriana. That didn't go too well, to be honest. And yeah, Carlo is like, well, same matchup, dude. I know how to verse you. Why are you picking this? I, why? Okay, well, it's going to be Renekton versus Riven again. I've seen this, what, about five times today? <laughs> Even though we've done like four games? No, I have no idea. 
Uh, but yeah, that matchup's gonna happen. And Snowpath probably gonna be locking in Snowpath now, apparently, my, my Snow Buddy. Come here, Snow Buddy. We're gonna make our own, um, our own game. With hookers and blackjack. Yeah. We wish. Um, superior name, thinking of, uh, that's interesting. He's popping in the mid lane. And he's thinking of going for a bit more of an impressive sort of burst and versatile mid champion rather than a conventional one. Oh, yeah, mid sona, totally. I can see that happening. <laughs> Next minute, he locks in. Let's see what he does. He's, he's sort of jumping around a bit. So it is going to be mid Israel. Whether or not he goes AP is still sort of up in the air. Probably will be, though. Um, interesting poke mechanics to uh, to rise, to be honest. he's He's got a good amount of range. And he can get a lot of damage off very quickly. But he's got those minion those minion lines to deal with. And Ryze just does not give a crap about minion lines. He just walks right through them. And, uh, and plays point and click adventure time. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah. But Rai's definitely very useful. Let's see if he goes blue build. Let's see if he starts off um, a bit heavier on the AD side. Like we saw on uh, on that Kenan top lane before. That was pretty interesting. And we'll see how... I mean, Halo... Uh, I mean, sorry, not Halo. Uh, Rick and, and Skugs picking up the Lulu and Tristana bot lane up against the Janna and Draven. That's a, that's a decent matchup. They they came back from that quite well. Going with the Graves just got absolutely decimated, but now they have a little bit of range on Tristana. They've got escapability, and they've got durability as well with uh, with Rex's shield and the ultimate as well. Um, and to be honest, uh, Halo works pretty damn well as a, as a Nunu jungle. And we've seen some pretty devastating Nunu jungles in, in the recent patches. And if he can get a good amount of slows off on Draven, his his footwork is not going to do enough to get him out of there. But there's some good speed ups on on Cry. So hard to tell. Interesting that he went for a slow champion for the jungle. As in a not a not a slow jungler, but a champion that works on slows. Just clarifying. Just saying. In terms of team fights, now that's something to behold. If we see a slice and dice from Snifties into a wild growth from Lulu. And then they distract him enough for Halo to... Or maybe Halo getting off the his ultimate initially in a bush or something like that to, to distract them. We could see Skux and Superior Name really cleaning up at the end of a fight. Um, if they ignore Draven, they're going to have a big, big issue. And if they ignore Kale, they're going to have a big issue. And of course, they can't fight too much in the exact same area because they're going to have to deal with Jibber's ult and a great amount of, uh, of burst tankiness and AoE from Snowpuff. But of course, you know, Ryzers, they they can always... They, you can't really ignore them, but you want to push them out. You want to sort of... Ah, it's very difficult to, to fight against a Ryze because he just scales on whatever the hell he wants to. He just gets mana. It doesn't care. just gets tear and just blows everything up. But... You know, you want to push him away a little bit. You want to, you want to kind of control him, but he's very difficult to do that in the middle of a team fight. They want to focus on that Draven. They want to focus on that Riven for the damage output. But, but Rise can really screw them up if they initiate that way. If they don't get the right initiate, Rise is going to lock one of them down. Jibbers is going to get out his ult. They're not going to be able to go in and save someone, and that can easily be a first blood. Sorry, not a first blood. A first kill within a team fight. First blood in a team fight, just maybe. No teleports coming out from here. Not a teleport on Rise either. I'm missing that teleport Rise. Oh, everyone's calling ARM, Lux, and Cassidon OP. Pretty damn good. I don't give too much to, to Cassidon. I love it when you play a game and you're like, oh, yeah, Lux, um... <laughs> what is it? Um, Lux, Nidalee, Jace. I just laugh at everyone. Poke out the window. It doesn't even matter. Poke all the places. If you know what I mean. Delay remaining only at uh, 25 seconds. That's what I say when I have nothing to say. The delay time. Because you obviously can't see it. All. Yeah, you can. <laughs> what am I talking about? That's that's the delay period in the middle of the screen. I'm so much fun. Damn it. But for this entire... Um, it, it looks a little bit closer from cha just looking at Champ Select for this match than it was to the last one. A bit more versatility coming out on high tech. A bit more durability. And, and a couple of more options. Good, a good amount of disengage as well. That's what they were a bit lacking in the last one. So here we go. Loading into the game. As you do. 
when you're awesome, when you're snowy. Take a look at those tasty pings. I will never stop getting over that. I will always be into that. All of the pings. Just look at that. It's so pretty. Everything below 50. Except for you, Riven and Rise. Disappointed in both of you. Superior name not connected yet. Oh, what is going on? <sighs> Any predictions from you guys coming into this game? This this could be the last game if, uh, if VGI take it away. They've got themselves five brand new TT Esports shock headsets. That's pretty insane. But if they don't, it's going to be a struggle for the next game. And uh, potentially a couple of taxi rides. <laughs> a couple of taxi rides home. Because apparently buses stop on the weekends. It's a thing. I know I'm going to be walking home tonight. <laughs> Call me me. Come on, let's go. Hurry up in there. Hurry up in there, TBA Israel. Just because you look so cool. What do you guys think about the TBA skins? Oh, come on, MJ. I always win. Haven't, haven't you seen it? Every single cast that I do. Very end, victory, victory screen shows up. Bar none. I don't lose. Oh, Ellen, stop being happy. <laughs> ah, chat window, I love you. There we go! Who's a pretty in-game squeen? You are. Let's replace everyone. Oh, gonna put these supports down there. There we go. Israel's actually in the mid. What am I doing? Hey, Rise is actually not there. And you're not there. You're there. Yay! Okay, we've got everything sorted now. Except I've, I've put those two in the wrong place. I am just full on derping right now. Welcome to start to out everything. No, it's Israel ADC with Tristana going in the mid lane. I... Okay. Okay, it looks like it's going to be Rise versus Tristana. Rise versus Tristana. Haven't seen that matchup before. Don't know how to react to it. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Um, Tristana can get a little bit of burst in the early game and, and then build on top of that. I I just don't know. Ryze can jump right at her and not really mind. And of course he does build on things. Like he could easily start out the game by building a frozen heart. He could just do that if he wanted to. And still do whatever. It's gonna be a double door and start for the bot lanes though. Minions have spawned. <laughs> Incredibly <laughs> hilarious. Uh, is, okay, cool. Cool story. <laughs> but the Doran's half of the ADCs is interesting, considering there's a good amount of range on Israel as as opposed to on Draven. Uh, but I, I think he was expecting to go up against the uh, up against the Skucks. Up against that Tristana. I have a feeling, but um, seeing that. Um, Seeing that barrier, he will know now that Superior Name is sort of on the way bot lane. Uh, yeah, AP Trist can get pretty OP, but I think early game, Ryze is just going to roll right over. Come on. He, he can just walk up and be like, nope, no move. Mr. Tristana, no move. And then Mr. Tristana, die. Okay. Yeah, we've, we've had a bunch of these tonight. Hopefully this one doesn't last half an hour. Yeah, it's been fun. John are lagging. Okay. Wait, John lag wait, FPS or or are we actually talking full on oceanic server lag? I mean come on. What is this? The lying the Academy of Light just lying like Oh, we're talking. Here we go. Here we go, okay. Game's starting up again. Good fun. Are we going to see any invades coming in? It doesn't look like it. We've seen a couple of wards go down from either team over in the red bush. Sorry, over in over in the uh, upper blue bush. And it looks like it's going to be a golem start out for, um, for Draven and Janna, which is pretty unheard of as well for the current jungle meta, purely because of its, uh, of its strength. The, uh, 
yeah, the amount of stuff that it takes away. But they're doing really well with it. They've got a great amount of sustain. And they actually pulled those. You, you have to start dodging them back and forth right here if you want to if you want to do something like that. But they managed to pull that off perfectly. These guys are such a great team. And already double spinning blades for Draven. He's looking very happy. God, I, I'm going to start playing Draven so damn much now. With that 30 ping. Ah, oh, it's going to be beautiful. And the top lane, same kind of story as the last game where you've got the, um, where you've got the, the back and forth between Carlo and Snifties. And of course, Carlo does, does, uh, scale a little bit over. But if Snifties gets a little help. Oh, it's going to be the other way around this time. Carloy and Jim is going in for the kill on Snifties. A lot of, uh, a lot of flashes going down there as well. First Flood going to Maokai. So that's where the help is going. And Tristana doing well in the mid. Uh, it looks like Snowpuff has been forced back a little bit. He's not getting up close and personal. He's letting Skux poke him out in the early game. That's, you know, if he does that, she's going to scale above him. Not very quickly, but she definitely will. Let's see if she scale. If she's going to focus down auto attacks, or if she's going to go burst AP. In terms of burst AP, not sure about her viability. Not that useful. Synchronized and uh, and scry, sorry, cry. Already pushed up to that turret. Already doing what they want, like they've been doing this entire tournament series. Already sitting 25 to 16 in CS, and synchro synchronized still not caring, still not taking any damage because of those brilliant uh, those brilliant Janna shields going down. Giving Superior Nam a run for his money. Synchronize is just getting very aggressive. Here he goes then. Juggling those spinning axes perfectly. Up at the top lane. Hey, Harlow is, is uh, bringing down the thunder. He's thinking of coming up and putting in a good word for Snifties. Now that Kyloe is a little bit of head, she, she really got up and... Um, wow, okay. Broken wings into a flash. Gonna, gonna give her a little bit of a protect there. But she got a little bit overconfident for a tiny bit. Double Doran's already now on ears. He really wants to poke out the Straven. As opposed to trying to safe farm and um, and build up that way. Because, I don't know, I, that's how I kind of react to a lot of uh, a lot of aggression. Instead of trying to out-aggress them or instead of trying to, to keep up with them, I just try and stay back and farm as much as possible and still go into normal items. And I don't know how viable that actually is, depending on what team you're playing against, but it certainly removes the element of risk in a lane. But it's not always the best decision if you if you let them get the CS, if you let them get the control of the map. But it is 1-0 to VGR already. In that tasty top lane. Naokai, of course, picking it up. CS is looking pretty even everywhere. Nothing to do with items going on very uh, very valiantly right now. Both top lane is picking up just a little bit of armor to try and take care of each other, like they did before. Same matchup, but this time it's Riven getting a little bit more AD than um, the Renekton did. I'm just wondering, this this turret, how long is it really going to last up against a uh, a Draven and Cry? Up against a Draven and Janna, who focus on pure damage output. Once the bit Draven goes back and gets like three long swords. Early wooding going down from Janna. Taking a look at that. I mean, there, there is an opportunity for uh, for a gang to come down from Nunu at this tri lane here. There's no warding there, but it's it's pretty uncommon for there not to be warding there. So I'm, I don't think he'll pick up on that kind of thing. And in the mid lane, would you look at that? Tristana getting very aggressive up against the Rise. Manages to take down at the turret. I'm going to go back and see that because there's nothing else going on here. Yeah, you heard me. Any... Oh, hey. Okay, so it got... It was the Ignite going down, not back into the turret, and then, uh, and then a bit of... Um, I'm sorry, just a little bit of damage coming up from the explosive shot as well, I think. But great reactionary, uh, reactionary moves. It's the beginning of the game. Very aggressive.
But hey, MJ called it. Powerhouse early game just done it in the mid lane. And Ryze is actually going straight up. Magic resist to start everything out. That's gonna that's gonna interestingly mix up the game. He hasn't gotten an early tier of the goddess, which could really offset a lot of his damage in mid game, but yeah, it's hard to say. Now he's now he's mitigating a lot of damage of his own, so we could sort of he, he could try and bait out Tristana, maybe for a gank from Maokai, who does have a little bit more up his sleeve thanks to that initial kill. Both teams are just playing so safe this round. Last round, they were up to like five kills by now. They're being very careful to play this right. Well, sorry, every other lane except bot lane is being careful to play this light. Synchronized and Cry just don't care. They will destroy everyone in their path. Cry is actually starting to push the lane herself a little bit more. Here we go, we are starting to see a little bit of a, a lane gank coming out from Snifties. Not not a gank per se, but he is trying to get the one up on Carloy. Doesn't take her on in the middle of minions. Interesting. Be a sword already out for Draven now, so once he gets back into that lane. The chunks of health will just rain down from anyone he chooses to throw spinning axes at. A BF is gonna help him out quite a lot. He's also up in CS. He has a little bit of sustain on Israel now with the three health pots, but not enough. Ooh, Snifty's not gonna dive in on that opportunity. Not at all as the cooldowns come back up. It would have been quite a while sitting under the turret for him. My god, his region, his sustain is going very, very well, but no death from Riven, it's still that one, um, sorry, still that one assist down from as well, look at that, just grabbing instantly that longsword and the, uh, Vampiric Scepter, getting himself a ward as well, so just, again, out-aggressing everyone, hoping that a head-on-head will, will lead in their favor, and potentially, now that she has those items over, over Renekton, but she's not getting as aggressive as she can be up against Renekton at this point in time. Jibbers trying to grab Stux, goes in for that twisted advance, and hey, Arlo getting out the perfect ultimate just to begin with, but it doesn't look like Skuzz is going to be able to follow off on it. There's the Ignite going down on him. Sorry, Puff actually went down to, uh, to Harlow. Oh, actually, sorry, to Jibbers. Sorry, to Harlow there, yeah. I believe with the Ice Blast, but that was a good one for one. Leaving the junglers to juke it out. And there it is, Tear of the Goddess already on superior name. So we are going to start seeing the Blue Rares build. But the aggression is already there. Synchronize will have to start focusing on superior name. And there is that combo coming out from Cry. But it looks like Rick is already knowing exactly what... Oh no, Synchronize popping out that barrier. Doing so well. And Rick is down to a flash. Synchronize and Cry still playing it very, very well. Damn, they are so damn close when they do that. So damn close. They get up right alongside the enemy ADC and support. They push them with the Hell and Gale. Sorry, they push them with the Monsoon, rather. And uh, and then they wait for that barrier to come out on Draven. They only do it if they know they've got those two abilities to sustain themselves, to keep them going. And Superior Name actually got out the barrier as well, but when they did that, I think they started focusing a bit on Rex. So, great double kill coming down for the bot lane. Again, 2-0 on Draven. He's got his BF. He's going to be moving on from that with the CS as well. Sitting there actually uh, floating. Not that much. They are going to see a turret dive at the very top with Carloy and, uh, and Snowpuff. But Skux is right on the case, pushing out Carloy. He's taking a lot of turret damage there. And let's see if Synchronized and Cry just keep pushing the bot lane. Beer Sword straight out from Synchronized. Man, he's just piling on the damage. He just wants his spinning axes to be a complete face rape. And that's exactly what they're turning into.
In the top lane, Renekton has already responded in kind to that aggression from Carloy. Now setting up one kill and one assist. So he's gone for that double long, so he got that Dorans as well, but I, I'd have to say Carlo is just that little bit ahead. Come on, sitting there with a Brutalizer and a... Uh, and a... Nah. Sorry. <laughs> and a Vampire Acceptor. Aggression can still go either way. Snifty is focusing on a little bit of more uh, jungle farm to stay in. But it's still a back and forth in that top lane. That goes the ultimate from... Israel there. In comes Harlow. Is he going to be able to slow Cry? No. Cry actually flashing to get away. The Blood Boil is on Harlow. He does manage to slow. Synchronized. Oh, they're actually going to try and fight this. The monster, I believe, is available. She throws it down, but the ultimate actually went down from Harlow. She did manage to knock it up and deny a lot of his damage. Is he going to be able to take it out? He takes down one. He takes down another. Is the triple kill coming? It certainly is! They're down! Another perfect, perfect fight from Cry and Synchronized. Triple as it is, nothing can stop them. Not now, not all day, and they will keep on going. They will just push that land. I think now they're going to focus on getting a dragon, but damn, just damn. I just, oh uh, uh, yeah, that I, mm, 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 mm. That's the stuff. I believe there was, yeah, his barrier wasn't even back up then. It was just raw damage, and the Monsoon and the Howling Gale that kept them alive. That perfect Howling Gale knocking up Harlow for uh, for the deny of his ult. And then the Monsoon. The Monsoon didn't actually sustain for that long. A lot of it was the Bloodthirster on Draven at this point. So if you saw his health not disappearing, that would be why. But uh, just in case, let me check if he's got a thousand. No, he doesn't. Okay, that's good. Sitting at 67 and 44. Thank God. <laughs> hey, you. Doesn't, doesn't hurt. These things happen. It seems it's on superior name. <laughs> Can't be. Can't be. Alright, the VGR warding in the jungle has already begun. They're starting to move in. Muscle in on, uh, on high-tech territory. Where they go from here, nobody knows. Are we going to see a consistent bot lane push from the duo? The dynamic duo, come to think of it. Jesus. Or are we going to see them put pressure on other lanes to get those turrets down? Draven's going to be farming a little bit in the in the bot lane, but come on, what's the next turret? What's the next objective for VGR? <coughs> oh no, 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 Draven! That was, okay, he's just grabbed himself a blue buff with his ultimate. Ah, uh, yeah, the Willing Death, just sort of, uh, just Cash gonna, gonna grab that. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, the video is starting to get laggy. I'm not sure what is wrong, but the, the video has been having troubles all day, despite me changing all of the bit rates and doing everything I can. I've never had this problem before. I've never had this many drop frames and not been able to solve it, but I can't. Very, very sad truth. But there's synchronized making the plays, grabbing that blue buff for him. Oh, denying Skux's jump with the stand aside. They're not going to be able to be, be able to move in on it with Hey Harlow on the back there. Snowpuff would have moved in, and they may have been able to put off the damage, but they do back out right now. Look at that! Uh, look at that health. Look at that life steal. That was interesting. Jim was just uh, chucking down the ult there for, for a little bit of fun. But, hmm. Yeah, he's already back up to full health. Synchronize is just so insane right now. Get away from there, Rick! Run! Running's not going to do... Oh, actually, it is going to do you any good unless he's going to flash, which he just did. Um, lo lots of fun. Lots of fun. Turn two right now in the game. Um, five, six K gold lead. Uh, Snowpuff's going to be trying to get Skux at his own turret. Not going to quite work. He's been up in the game for a, for a long while now. He's got the penetration from his sorcerer's shoes. Focusing on the Fiendish Codex. And uh, Synchronize no longer cares about turrets either. So, um, they're going to keep that. Draven's at 8 0. Things that you can't explain. Yeah. Whoa, Willing Death just barely uh, getting thrown out before Harlow threw out the flash there. If he hadn't flashed at that point, Synchronize would have been able to time that a little bit better. And potentially pick it up. Bot lane is where all the action is at. Would you look at this in the mid lane? Jibis and Stopa teaming up. 
to take out the mid turret and its inhabitants. That's going to make a big difference. The top lane has still been pretty damn stale. Oh, and Haru really just wants to keep this mid lane turret. He's not going to get it, though! Snow Puff, one hit away. There it goes. All you need is a minion. Who needs love when you have minions? That came out very wrong. When's that driven coming back? Somebody, somebody give me that timer for that. Can't be too far away. It's a three minute ward, I would imagine. I don't know. Anyway, next target, it doesn't even look like it's top lane because Carlo took care of that while they were getting that mid. Spectral Wraith actually built up on Harlo now, so he's getting a little bit aggressive with his tactics. He's not being all tanky and durable for his team. I would have suspected out an early, uh, an early edges from him to, to subjugate one coming out on Rekka. But hey, they're going to focus down Sniff as well, sitting at 13-2 now in the game. VGR are looking pretty close to grabbing themselves five headsets from TT Esports. Damn, I need myself a duo. I really do. Just a little bit. Spirit Visage coming out on Rise. Come to think of it. Interesting. 50 MR. Trying to deny a lot from Skux and um, put down his cool reductions. Considering his passive does give him a little bit of uh, little bit of spell. Sorry, not his passive. His ultimate gives a little bit of spell vamp. Another kill from Synchronized. Um, what more can you say? But considering his, his ultimate a little bit of spell vamp, that's going to be helping him out there as well. And I think now he's probably going to be focusing on, with that Sapphire Crystal, a, uh, a Rod of Ages. Will be coming out soon. Not soon. Soonish. Eh. Everywhere for high tech now is just a push fest. They have to constantly maintain their lanes. And here comes in a knockoff from Cry. Didn't quite hit its mark. Synchronized try to jump in there. They managed to find Snifty's off guard. They do manage to take him down. All it is is a present to the face. And the Willing Death came in from Synchronized. He's going to be able to get one last hit off on Skugs. But it didn't quite make it. They still focus him down despite Rick's effort to save. And Superior Neem has to try and get in on some of that. He has to try and... Nope. No, he's very much in a tough buy now. He's going to have to start running very fast. If that Twisted Advance catches up to him, he's got nowhere else to go. Okay, there we go. They're, they're going to sort of let him live. His choice. Somebody disconnected. I'm kind of confused. No, somebody... Did they reconnect? What's going on? Skux has quit, so apparently Skux is not there. 15 more seconds till you can surrender. Calls high tech. They think they own the field. Who knows? Why not? Why not call it? Oh well, guys. 16 2 in the game. VGR taking away 5 turrets to 1 and sitting at 10k gold gap. And now Jibber's looking for blood on their ADC. Isn't that something? VGR is starting to get just a little bit too ballsy now. They just, they, I don't think they care anymore. Anyway, moving right along. It's not too far away for a Black Cleaver to be coming up on Snifties. Again, if they come together as a team, there's not too much going out for them. I, I, I think GG is starting to be called. I just have this slight feeling. Yeah. There it is, guys. VGR complete stomp in that last game. I, I have to say, high tech put up a really good fight at the uh, at the beginning of the of the first game. They really did. There was, there was a bit of a back and forth, but there were a lot of technical issues in that as well. So, no, I can't really say too much about it. But that game, right there, just dominated by the bot lane and the top lane. It was a little bit difficult for Snowpark to be dealing with that Skugs. and uh, really great call from MJ in the chat there. Gonna see, uh, gonna see a little bit more of uh, Tristana versus Rise, maybe. Who knows? But that was an amazing little victory taken away from VGR. They are now the proud owners of five TT Esports Shock headsets. It's gonna be amazing. So I'm just gonna go congrats them. And cheers for watching it. Cheers for joining. Uh, I'm Snowy Padre. Uh, you guys can follow me for a bunch of stuff in the league scene in New Zealand. Uh, I'm gonna constantly try and put out more and more content for you guys to enjoy. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, a lot, a lot. 
uh, in the ways of uh, technical improvements and tutorials and also getting player interviews and team interviews and sort of exposing you more and more to the esports scene in New Zealand. So whatever whatever I can do for you guys, if, you, if you're running your own tournament, I can definitely help you out with that if you need to know where to make bracket, brackets, uh, what to do anywhere. Yeah, I can, I can give you a little bit of help with that if you want. I don't even have to be involved with it. I'm just, I'm just glad for people to be doing stuff. It's great. Anyway, this has been the iPlay and TD Esports Tournament. If you want to check out iPlay, uh, they do uh, LOL tournaments every now and then. And uh, they're, they're pretty damn cool. Um, and, uh, sorry, they're over in Lawn Street, so you can come visit them, say hi, and ask when their next LOL tournament is. See if you can get involved. Um, there will be a couple more LOL tournaments going out. You can check out LOL NZ tournaments on Facebook if you want to keep up with that. A couple of There are a couple of posts on Snowy Padre on Facebook if you if you want to check out how to follow the LOL scene in NZ and a couple of links on how to follow it in Australia as well. Thank you to everyone involved. It's been a great experience here today. I'm finally back into casting. My God, it's been a long time. Sorry if I'm a bit stale. And by a bit, I mean a lot. And uh, it's been fun actually talking to you guys. It's been pretty entertaining. Mainly for me, I'm sure not for you. But thank you for joining in. It's been fun.